Captain. Time for Pikmin 2! Or time to continue Pikmin 2, as we were already playing it last week. And for some reason I had a lot of trouble trying to get the Switch to connect to the capture card properly, so... Seems like we're up and running. Gameplay is recording, just in case I want to do anything with this in the future. And I have uh, no real recollection of where we were at last time. So let's just go to the area selection and find out where we need to go next. I probably should have rewatched last week's stream first because it looks like we've got three different options and they all have some things to do. So, Luckily there's no time limit with this Pikmin game so you don't really need to worry too much about what you're actually doing on what day. So that's one of the benefits of this one. It's very loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. There we go. I feel like the issue that might have been with the capture card is because I had the analog pocket plugged into the dock. And I didn't realise, but um, it w it's been turned on for a few days, I guess. And maybe it was outputting it at the wrong resolution? Not entirely sure. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Hey, we have someone in the chat. Hello, head to beastie First time chat as well. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? And how did you find the stream? Have you been a viewer of my YouTube channel for a while, or did you find me straight from Twitch itself? That's always interesting to know. It's still a bit too loud. How's that? And I really can't remember what I was doing, but I know I was excited to play it again, so there is that. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. It looks like I've already cleared all this area, right? There must be some more caves somewhere that aren't on the map. I remember last time I was amazed that this was the same area that's in Pikmin 1. Which was really cool to see. Uh, but what am I meant to be doing? There's no blue onion, even. It looks like I need a blue onion, really. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, not after a great start, because I feel a little bit confused, as I don't remember what I was doing last time. Um, and I don't remember the controls. How am I supposed to bring Louie up here separately? Where am I supposed to be going? There's a cave over there, but it looks like you need the uh, yellow Pikmin in order to break that fence down. Can I mark it on the map, maybe? No. Let's see what else is here. Those other ones are just going to get left behind. Remember the boss fight here with the giant beetle from the first Pikmin game? Oh, I can break this, or lower this barrier. And maybe throw some yellow ones up there. I'll see if I can go and pick the rest of the Pikmin up. And I've got to remember to use the two characters separately as well. Yeah, this is the Switch version. Uh, oh, I should have left Louie at the top. Oh well. Ah, why is he coming with me? I don't understand these controls. I was on such a roll last time as well, and now I feel like I can't do anything. Stay there. Okay, I guess Louie can just stay down there because the bridge will let him come up the other side anyway. And these ones should be done.
I really don't remember. It's not even been that long. How do I change? I feel like I have no recollection of anything. It has been a long day. I'm quite tired. There we go. Throw him up there. It has been a very long day at work today. I was hoping playing this would help me relax a bit, so hopefully that's the case. Are they even hurting them? Slowly, very slowly. Hmm, I think the controls are just the same as the GameCube, I'm just using the Pro Controller. I don't know if they've got any gyro controls. I was fine yet, uh, last week when I was playing it before. I was just going to get my head around the controls again. Uh, and Sarah's sending me something. Stardew Valley Concert. Interesting. I need blue ones. Most of this level is set in the water. Give me one second. I'm going to go and turn my fan on and open the window because it's so hot in here. Hopefully that fan isn't too noisy. That's the only way I'm going to get through this. Okay, astonishing. This purple berry contains an ultra bitter essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me more specimens. I'm sure it will have a use very soon. Tell me about it again. Has it figured out what its use is? Let's find out. Captain Olimar, I've completed my research of the purple berries you discovered. Behold, the ultra bitter spray. It's untested, but I believe it will be highly effective. Approach enemies and press up on the D-pad to spray them. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press plus to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing left. I don't recall ever actually using this against any of the enemies in the game. Let's get two more reds out just to make it back up to 100. And what are we actually meant to be doing right now? There's a bunch 
still over there. I can take some of the yellow ones to that barrier, and then we can head into one of the other caves. Oh, that's where all the berries are coming from. I better bring them all with me in case any get left behind. Now, where was this cave? I needed to break an electric fence somewhere. Uh, over there? There's two electric fences. Must be this one, because that one's on the other side of the water, which we can't go to just yet. So let's split them up. Hopefully that doesn't take all day. I always give up at the end when one of them doesn't want to latch on and just press X. I really need blue ones though, if I could break this if I've got blue ones as well. And fight that annoying frog thing. They're a lot easier in this game than in the first one. Oh, ow. Maybe he decides to leave me alone. Maybe I shouldn't be fighting things. Oh no! That was my fault for angering, it, angering the frog. Oh, I can send them over the other side. Maybe that's safer. Wait, maybe that's not safer. What about if the frog goes on that side? I'll get the frog to follow me instead. Oh, I just realised that means that we're both trapped down here now. Anyway, while we're waiting for that gate, what can I tell you guys and girls that's interesting? I just finished doing the script for my video about these two interesting handhelds here. Which are the two final creations from Gunpei Yokoi after he left Nintendo. So they're really interesting actually. This one is a completely original game too. A completely original LCD game. Let me get it out of its wrapper and I'll show you. There you go. So they're like little, little keyring games that are sort of like... Game & Watch style little games. If I turn it on, you might be able to see on the screen there. This one's a little bit like Snake, basically, but instead of having the food in the middle of the display, it kind of comes across the side, and then it goes across the inside of the uh, play field, and it sort of moves from one side to the other constantly, so it's a really interesting take on the formula. And then the other one, this one is actually Gunpei, so this is the sort of puzzle game where you move the lines up and down. Obviously named after Gunpei Yokoi himself, even though it was spelt differently. But yeah, making this next video is kind of one of the videos that I've wanted to make for a long time. And now that I've stopped doing all the sponsorships, I feel like I can actually focus on writing scripts for more interesting stuff that I care about like that. So hopefully you're all looking forward to that. I'm going to start editing it tomorrow, hopefully. It does make me kind of question whether I should change the date of these streams so that I have more time to work on videos in the week. Because I would ideally like to be editing that video today. We found the next cave. Do I need to go and round everyone back up first? I don't think I can reach them from here. If I go in, will it let me take everyone? Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, Olimar, stay there. Louis is going to have to take the long way around and I'm just going to have to hope that we've actually got enough time to do all this.
Okay, we rounded everyone up. Whoa, loads of nectar. Everyone can come and have some food. Is it food or is it drink? I'm not really sure whether it counts as food or drink. Anyway, everyone's here. Let's go. Enter the cave with my squad. The game has been saved. I don't know why I read that out and not what the uh, spaceship was telling me. Oh, we got one of the house style levels. Ah, I hate these. It's always best to try and throw them directly on their heads. Oh my god, we already lost one. Uh, it's a bit stressful when there's so many of them. Okay. Everyone pick up a corpse. And I can't press left on the D-pad to call them all back to me. It's not Pikmin 4. I got so used to doing that in the fourth one. Not only that, but also using the radar thing as well. It was very useful. I do miss it. Is it dangerous to go out, out of bounds? What is going on here? Do I need to throw some yellow ones on him? Okay, that worked. Is that all there is to this level? Throw some more yellow ones up there. Why can't they get in? There's definitely more than two there. What are you guys doing? Now they managed to pick it up. Oh dear. That poor yellow one on his own. Looks like Mario font. It is. Mario... Mario Paint. Peach Pink. That's fun. Gone Mad Trying. Hello. It's all good, thanks. I was complaining a little bit about having a tough day at work and being a bit tired, but I got over it. Time to have some fun with Pikmin. I was kind of struggling to remember all the controls, too. Now, does this take us deeper? Yes, I think we're all done on this level. Very simple level. Okay, let's go deeper. And how are you, Gone Mad Trying? And head to Beastie, if you both had good days, and whoever else is in chat, or watching on stream. I only read the first line of that, and I thought, yeah, you're good now you've had a poop. Okay, thanks for telling me. Had a poop day at work, but gaming helps. Yep. That's why gaming's here for us. What are we doing here? We have one of those ugly beetle things. Playing Dragon Age for the first time. Cool. I've not played it myself, but I've heard it's good. At least I've heard the first one good. The first one's good. Isn't there something weird about the sequel that people didn't like? I know one of them was in the book that I read on holiday. It had a really troubled development cycle. Dragon Age Inquisition, is it? Not sure which game in the series that is. There was a lot of problems about it being a cross-generational game and changing engines as well or something like that. 
It was an interesting read at the time, but I've clearly forgotten most of the content at this point. Is that all this level's about? Just these annoying roller bug things. Oh my god, they're so annoying to fight! Why is it so slow? Why can't they just fight them when it's when it's on its back? He's not eating anyone, is he? No, he's just walking straight past him. I'm a bit worried. Do I need to be careful about throwing the Pikmin out of bounds? Or is that not an issue? Come on! Oh my god, finally. There is some treasure here somewhere. Apparently. I don't see any treasure. And the radar's not picking anything up. Ah, oh, there it is. Is it just that little bottle cap? A very simple level again. I do not understand how people enjoy Pikmin 2 more than Pikmin 1. Pikmin 2 just feels like it's full of filler. All these really simple cave levels. Hey, there's someone here. Oh no. Oh well. I'm sure that was an okay way to kill him. How many does it take? I don't know where he came out of. Yeah, we got it. Ginger ale light. Happiness emblem. I guess, if you like ginger ale. There's still more treasure on this level. Maybe we have to go on these rail tracks. Everyone on! On the Pikmin Express. I don't see any treasure. The radar's picking up around here though. What is it seeing that I'm not seeing? Is it this? It looks like there's something on there. No? It's moving on its own for some reason. Oh, is it that? It was a trick. It was just that. I thought that was just part of the house. I didn't realise it was its own thing. Where are they going? I'll just wait here. eBay is trying to remind me of something. Warlocked for the Game Boy Color 2000. Authentic and tested. Anyone ever heard of that game before? Warlocked on the Game Boy Color? Kind of a RTS for the Game Boy, which is very interesting. It's been on my list of games to uh, buy for quite a while. And here's another game. I always watch the games and then the offers keep coming through and I never accept any of them. Uh, this one here. A sealed copy of Crystalis or Crystalis for the Game Boy. $100. Do you think that's worth it? I've heard it's really good. I've never played the NES game either because it never, neither of them came out in the UK. 
as far as I'm aware anyway. And here's another one that I've wanted for a long time, Survive on Kids, or Stranded Kids, as it's known here. That's another one on my watch list. There we go, we got all the treasures on level two. Let's go deeper. Doesn't tell you how many levels they are. Just try and keep hold of as many Pikmin as you can, I guess. What? Why? Why would they bother accepting offers then? If the offer was more than the uh, than the list in price anyway, that doesn't make any sense. Did anyone buy it, or did they take it off the market after that? Maybe they panicked and thought they could get more money for it. I always hate it when people say make an offer and then you make an offer and they just refuse it immediately, even if it was a reasonable offer. It's like, why bother? You're going to save, like, two quid or something. No! Get the red ones away from them, beetles! They're for yellow ones only. They're calling away fast. In fact, I'm going to go back over here, keep all the red ones safe, and just take the yellow ones over. Good job I brought some yellow ones with me, then. So they're immune to electricity. Okay, we'll leave some of them. And then you two can just split yourselves between them guys. Oh, when they're facing forward, they can't do anything. Take them out one at a time then. Oh, I forgot about that Kofi thing, sorry. I was... Reminded that I had it earlier, and the last time I updated it was in 2017, and there was an option to link it to Twitch. So, if you are enjoying the streams or anything, there is the option. But, no pressure. I completely forgot that it would link up with this, actually. Ah, there we go, if you forgot yellow ones. You've got the option there to make some more. For some reason the yellow ones... Uh... Oh my god! Everyone get away! Get away, get away! The lightning is extra super effective in this game. It basically kills you instantly, so you have to be very careful. Not like Pikmin 3 or 4, where it just stuns you. In this one, if you get hit by electricity, even once, instant death. Should I make some more yellow ones? I'm guessing I might need some. Oh. Okay, we don't get to make money. I missed the ability to pull the Pikmin out of the ground just by whistling at them. That was another great feature in number four. Towards the end of the game, you can unlock a special whistle that allows you to pull all the Pikmin out of the ground in one go. Which is very useful. Why haven't they eaten it? Oh my god, there's still so many with flowers. Without flowers. Oh, I thought that was actually going to be going to be something to pick up. Okay, there is another yellow bug over here, so let's leave everyone else there for now. Can we do two at once? Yeah. Why is there a red guy? Get back over there. It's too dangerous. Yellows only. Yeah. The caves definitely drag on a bit. 
That's what I was saying earlier. I don't know whether you were here or not, but the reason I much prefer number one over number two is because it's a lot more streamlined. Two can really, really start to drag on. Because there's not really any difficulty in these caves either. They're just long. And I guess some people like that because they feel like there's more game. But I'd prefer a shorter game that's a bit more polished. It's the same reason I prefer Pikmin 3 over Pikmin 4. I do not enjoy Pikmin Caves as much. It's not that I don't enjoy it. I mean, it's, st it's still fun. The gameplay is just fun in and of itself, really. Oh god, that didn't hurt me at least. I have to be really careful not to uh, get the Pikmin catapulted outside the environment. Else there's no getting them back. Try and get him to come a bit closer to the centre of the uh, stage because I don't want to lose any. Yeah, I'm really nervous because he's so far away and he's only on half health as well. Oh, there is some treasure there. Okay, now he's coming over. No, go! That's what I was waiting for. Everyone attack. We did it. Now we can swap over to Louie and bring everyone else over. I need to remember to split between the two characters more. more than enough. Oh. Still some electricity. What's the point of that bit? It doesn't go anywhere. Anything here? I also just don't like how dark the caves are. Like, yeah, obviously they're dark because they're caves, but I much prefer the outdoor environments. And can you really call this a puzzle? Maybe some of the lighter ones get more challenging. But I don't want to complain too much because I do still love the game. And the idea of finding treasure is fun too. Compared to just things to fix the ship. We got something. A broken compass. A director of destiny. See, in the first game, that would have been a ship part. We've lost three Pikmin so far. And I think we're on level three, so there's one per stage. Is that something? It is. That means we have to go and wait over there again. But we can take these animal corpses back over with us too. And we can give some of them flowers. Slurp! Wait, 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 wait. There is a little bit of the map that we haven't uncovered. Over here. Okay, that's everything for this area. I guess there was nothing to find on that part of the map. It is just another path back round to the start. Alright then, let's head off to the next level. Hopefully there's something a bit more interesting on that floor. There's a xylophone. 
It doesn't do anything. That's a shame. They missed a trick there. You should have been able to throw the Pikmin on the different panels and it would make different noises. That'd be fun. Glutton's Kitchen, sub-level 4. There's not really many kitchen-y elements either, is there? Considering it's called a kitchen, it's all just set on the table. Pikmin 4 was really good with that, like, making the environment based around the house. In that area where you find Olimar. Or the introduction stage. The kitchen bit there is really cool. It always reminds me of Toy Commander for the Dreamcast. Did anyone ever play that? There's a giant one. I wonder what that spray does. Let's try it. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Apparently, I've never used this before. Most impressive, the fierce beast came as hard as stone in a mere instant. The ultra bitter extract seems to have a side effect that stops beasts in their tracks. Damn, I shouldn't have done that while he was out of bounds, though. I think that means I won't be able to attack him from there. Uh, oh no, get back! I don't even know if I can go on that side. Oh great, now he's chasing me. Oh no. Let's hope this helps at least. I think I lost quite a few then. Damn, I should have waited for him to come over a bit first. It's very unforgiving, Pikmin 2 is. Especially if you get into these caves and then you come across an enemy that wipes out, like, half your supply of Pikmin in one go. But we got another bottle cap, so it's not all bad news. Massive Lid. What a great name. Everyone's telling me to play Gargoyle's Quest. Has anyone here played Gargoyle's Quest on the Game Boy before? It's the one game that I keep getting comments on my top Game Boy video. Why haven't you included Gargoyle's Quest? How can it be a top Game Boy video without including Gargoyle's Quest? Ah. Well, I don't like it. Or at least... Every time I've tried to play it, I haven't enjoyed it anyway. Would anyone recommend it? There's still more treasure around somewhere. I've been everywhere. Is that treasure? Apparently that is. I've actually got it out right here because I've been planning on playing it because everyone keeps telling me how good it is. I might leave it out so I remember. Does that mean I could have... No, that means I could have thrown the Pikmin to attack that Bong Blacks or whatever it's called. Oh, and they could have survived. Oh well. That's what those red bits are. They let them come back over. That means I can throw some leafy Pikmin. Oh. They don't want it if you just make them walk into it. That's weird. Is that cop something too? It is.
We've got a little chocolate cake. White goodness. Okay, we got enough. No, oh, and they can go through that side as well. Oh, I feel so annoyed. Knowing that I could have just thrown the Pikmin over there. Cool. Apparently from what I, well, from what I've played, what little I've played of it, and from what people have told me online, it's a mix of an RPG and an action platformer based on the Ghouls and Ghosts series, I think. So it sounds interesting, but every time I've played it, I haven't managed to get past the first level because it's so challenging. Maybe I just need to stop being such a noob. Yeah, it is very, very difficult. And the sprites are massive, so you can't really see much ahead of where you are. And in the first level, there's like a, um, like a wall climbing section, but halfway up the wall, like there's like spikes, and you have to sort of float from one side to the other, and there's an enemy at the top that can heat back down to the spike, the spikes at the bottom. It's like, ah, that's a lot. Oh no. I remember this guy. No, oh, no. Don't crush my Pikmin! How dare you? Don't eat my Pikmin either! How dare you? This is where the game gets fun. We've got an actual challenge. What is that? Is that something? 35? Maybe we should do that now before they all die. Oh, and something just spat some, uh, what's it called, nectar, I don't know. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Good job he's not aiming at all them. This is the first time the game's even been a challenge so far. Da -da 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 -da. What do we have? The Sunken antenna. It looks a bit old fashioned. Is it a radio? Oh my god. I thought they were all dead then. That was lucky. Now we can gather all these. And there uh, looks like a party hat up there as well. Oh my god, there's a whole load more stuff over that side, too. Let's go and get the party hat. Here we go. How many Pikmin to carry a party hat? We need ten. Sorry, I'll try not to keep mimicking the Pikmin, that can probably get annoying pretty fast. Uh, ooh, we've got some purple Pikmin. They're always useful. I suppose that's if, if a load of them got steamrolled by that boulder. You can replace them all with purple ones. Hey, what's that going to call a party hat? Uh, oh, it's not a party hat, it's one of those exploding firework things. A <laughs> boom cone. Fun name. Let's sacrifice some reds for some purples. No, oh, he's back. And this time there's no escape. Red ones should be better at fighting him. Oh god! One of them got crushed. What? Why did none of them manage to crush that? Well, 
The only one he wanted to bite was me, apparently. Is that everything? I think we've done it. It wasn't too bad. We did lose a few, though. We're down to 83. Let's hope there's not that many more levels. I like to try and clean the area up completely. At least you'll get a little bit more money at the end of it. There is a bit we haven't explored over there. But it doesn't look like it goes anywhere anyway. Just around in a circle. Is that it? Uh, I think that's everything. There seems to be a lot of paths that don't really lead anywhere, which is a bit strange. Um, should I try and get that? Let's try and get the purple ones over there, because obviously they're very slow. Ah, why don't they stay in the right colours? Yay, we did it. There we go. I wasn't even sure if that was going to work. Alright, double check. I think we're 100% clear. Moving on. Is there more? Oh my god, these are never ending. I'd be like halfway through Pikmin 1 at this point. Final level, here we go, and it's actually bright. Let's start with... Oh, shall we kill this piece of toast first? He's stealing a donut. Did we just leave him to steal the donut? I don't know what to do with him. Very slowly kill him with purple Pikmin. Well, we got it, and he bounced up. But he didn't stay there. He's gone off wandering around as well now. Let's see what we can do with him. I'm really worried about the electricity. There's his baby. But at least the little ones just stay in one place for a while. You can just keep doing this. Oh. Well, they mostly stay in place. I don't get it. Where's the challenge? Even the big one doesn't actually attack you. Oh, God. Last one to the electricity, that's what I was worried about. What is he doing? He's just pottering around at random. Should we uh, get some yellows? A few brave reds at the end there.
Where is that big loaf of bread enemy? Just still wandering around. I suppose once they're on the back, you don't really need to worry about them and their electricity attacks. Need to make sure no reds go over to the uh, electric. It should be safe. I will just wait here for a second. I don't know where he's going to take the uh, monster to. Oh, okay. Quick, grab on! He's stealing things. That's what he's doing. No! He came back up to full health. I really don't know what's going on here. Is the idea to try and hurt him? Nothing seems to be making any difference. I can't use the purple Pikmin against him. Do I just have to keep doing that? Is that the idea? Try and claim everything before he does? Is that it? Am I going about this right? I, uh... I don't get it. Am I, am I supposed to be... Like, getting rid of this or something? No? Is this the boss? Why is he hurt? Is he taking damage? Slightly? Maybe? I really don't know. I think he is, slowly. I think I'm along the right tracks by throwing the purple ones. We're supposed to be throwing them on the floor next to him, maybe. They just bounce off his back, though, which is really annoying. I don't like this at all. This is so frustrating. Ugh. What about if I only use purple ones? Yay, finally. I don't get what the point of that fight is. He can't even attack you. Well, we cleared his den anyway, and we got half of a rubber. How bizarre. An item appears to have fallen out of that freakish creature. It must be a greedy beast to swallow up something like this. And it looks like he also dropped an egg. And a piece of ham. Should be enough to pick everything up and carry all our hard work back over. It's very happy I picked this up. Dream material. This intrigue material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. A space suit made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wearer from electric shocks. Excellent. This new material has allowed me to complete my anti-electrifier. It is my own invention with only the smallest iota of outside inspiration. I have reconfigured your suits with the new material. They will now protect you from electricity. Oh, 
Retro Detox, hello. Why would you ever have a detox from retro gaming? Unless it's the other way around and retro is the detox. In which case I agree. And we have some floppy ham. Meat of champions. And we also have an egg. What is it going to call the egg? Hideous victual. I don't even know what that means. We did it. That is the entire cave complete. We can finally go back up to the surface. That was every every enemy taken back. Every bit of treasure found. And only the last two levels were really entertaining in, in all of that. So, Apologies if the first half of the stream wasn't very exciting. Let's hope it gets a bit more interesting. Also, probably won't bother playing all the way through Pikmin 2 like I did with Pikmin 1 because I'm really not enjoying this as much. Cave complete. The game has been saved. <laughs> How did you come up with that username? I'm sorry, I made you question it. It's a good username. 50% of debt recovered. We're halfway there. It's annoying you can't place anything down on the map because you can't really see what's left to do. I do have some purple Pikmin with me now though, which is cool. I didn't have them earlier. Not really sure what else there is that I can do yet. Because I think I need... Have I already got the things from there? I think so. I need blue Pikmin really, so I'm going to try and explore one of the other areas. Ooh. No, that's just the cave entrance. That's where I need to go really. But I don't want to risk getting them wet, so. Although. Oh well, it's nearly sundown anyway. Uh, shall we just skip ahead? Try and find some blue ones. There you go then. As long as you're happy with the name and it makes sense. You can keep it. I'm just annoyed that Retro Break isn't available everywhere. That's why I have to call myself Retro Break Games on Twitch, because someone else has the username. And they've never even streamed anything. How annoying is that? Today's report. Did we make a lot of money? Yeah, we made loads of money. Look at all this money we made. 1,300 and something. If only it was the same in real life. I've been watching all your GB, GBA, analog pocket videos. Getting ready for my transparent. I have my regular, regular one right here. There you go. You'll be happy to know that I use it to record all the footage. With the dock. So, if you saw my Hime's Quest review, that's how I played it, and how I got all the footage for it. And if you want a good controller, hold on. Here we go. If you want a good controller to go with the analog pocket, I recommend this one. It is called the SF30 2.4G, and it syncs up perfectly with the dock. I haven't had any issues with it, whereas the one I used before I was getting a load of um, issues with it disconnecting and stuff. Nice. I really like the look of the transparent one as well. So I'm a little bit jealous. Olimai, you're my hero. You erased half of our debt. Still, things have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focus on your work and don't slack off. Yes, sir. Do, 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 do. 
I'm not sure which one of these two areas has the blue Pikmin. Let's try this one. Yeah, I'm sure you'll love it. When it turns up, you'll have to come back into whatever stream I'm doing then. Oh, nice. You've already got it. Excellent. The other one I've got, the SF30 Pro, that one didn't work. But if you've got the 2.4G one, yeah, it has to be the 2.4G version. Then it works perfectly. I haven't had any issues at all, which is good. So, hopefully you've uh, got one that's compatible. Not really sure what I need to do in this level. Seems like I've already got everything. Why would it only let me take out 26? Oh no, I haven't got any left. Okay. I need to get more yellow Pikmin. Let's use this time then to gather some more yellow Pikmin. Ooh. There we go. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that I use it to record all the footage for my games, and if you've got the right controller, you won't have any issues. And it plays really nicely with capture cards as well, which is good. Have you got an EverDrive or anything? Or are you planning to do the FPGA mods? Because on, on this pocket here, it's got loads of different consoles on there as well, which I didn't cover on my original video. Maybe I should do an updated one, like Analog Pocket Thoughts, two years later, or however long it's been. Yay. This session is definitely just restocking yellow Pikmin. Yeah, so now you've got the option. You'll probably be able to see. You've got the option there for open FPGA. I've got all sorts of different consoles and stuff on there now. Literally every FPGA thing they've made, including a bunch of specific arcade conversions. And you can even get Super Game Boy, which is pretty fun. So you get on the Super Game Boy borders. For the original Game Boy games. Oh yeah, I did one on the Game Boy uh, Game Gear adapter. Oh, I remember when I was doing that one. I was working up in Edinburgh, so I made that most of that video I edited in the hotel room at like eleven o'clock at night after a really long day at work, doing a job that I didn't really didn't understand. So if you wondered why I was a little bit out of it in that video, that's why. That was a tough time a few years ago. I don't know how I managed to still do weekly videos back then. Nice, why? Are you, it's probably a good starting point for emulation because it is kind of only half an emulation device and you've still got the option to use all your original carts and things which is quite um, unique compared to a lot of the other ones. Oh yeah, I want to I wanna take all these to the yellow one. Should be more well stocked. But are there no more caves or anything? It said that there was still stuff to do here. Uh, do I need to come back with blue ones? Oh yeah, work-wise I'm doing a lot better now. 100% working from home as well, which is nice. It means that I don't have to waste so many hours a day commuting. Or back then I guess it was waste like 
three days in the week because I'd be up in a hotel somewhere. Where am I? Is this the crash site? This is where the game starts. Why am I here? I don't need to be here. I don't think there's anything left for me to do in this level. I've lost five, apparently. Oh no! Did they all get tired? Wake up! <sighs> Do you feel like me? <sighs> I'm tired today. Despite working from home, I've still had a busy day. I think that's all we can do today, actually. I just need blue Pikmin. Alright, well, at least we got some more yellow ones. That is all that today's records are going to say. You ordered Circle of the Moon and Link to the Past for the GBA. Nice. How much was Circle of the Moon, if you don't mind me asking? Because I know the GBA Castlevania games are getting a bit pricey, aren't they? Or is that just the uh, the later two games in the series? Hello, I'm still on the... Lamb? I am? 1am? From the Debt Collectors. For the time being, I've decided to live under the bridge. But if they catch me, I don't know what they'll do. Oh no. He's hiding from them. All right. Let's go to this one and see whether we can find the blue Pikmin here. It's the cheapest of the three. 21 US, that's really good. I have a fun story about uh, Castlevania 1. Uh, I don't know where the box is, but basically I went to game to buy Castlevania, the NES Classics version for the GBA. And they... Um, put the wrong game in the box basically so they gave me castlevania circle of the moon thinking that it was just the original castlevania because in the uk it didn't have a subtitle it was just called castlevania so i actually got you know the better game of the two well that's debatable because i love the nest castlevania but you know it was a better game for the gba and I only paid a fiver for it, because it was like a pre-owned NES Classics game, basically. So I managed to get Castlevania Circle of the Moon for a fiver. But yeah, that was definitely one of my favourite memories of buying a game and being pleasantly surprised. And there was another... something kind of similar but not really with another NES Classics game with the NES Classics 
Zelda, so this was 2004 maybe? Or 5? Something like that, maybe 3? The GBA was still around anyway, and basically I'd gone to like the gadget show at the NEC, and somewhere it gave me a £20 note for change instead of a tenner. And, and game was there, so basically I got the game for free because I got that, and then I went straight to the game store next door. And gave them the 20, which should have been a 10, and literally just swapped it for the Zelda NES edition. So, there's that too. Not quite as cool as getting the wrong game in the box. But still fun. Bonus games win win. But my my absolute best in terms of getting games that I shouldn't have was getting Pokemon Gale of Darkness on the GameCube for 50p from Blockbuster. Because they'd priced it up wrong or something. And they scanned it in and it came up as 50p. And uh, I just tried to keep a straight face and they, they sold it to me for that price. Because it was in their system wrong. So yeah, that's just crazy. And that game's going up in price so much recently. I swear it's like well over 100 at this point. I'm trying to think if I've had any other like amazing deals with games. I got the original Smash Bros for the N64 complete in box for 20 quid once, which was a nice surprise. Hey, first time chat from Bollian MC2. Hello. And thank you for deciding to check out my live streams as well. I hope you enjoy them. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd be able to get that from there. I always thought I would have to go around the other side. Yeah, let's hear your guys' stories. What are some of the best gaming purchases that you've made? Whether that was getting things cheaper than expected, or getting the wrong game in the box and being pleasantly surprised, or anything like that, or any or any horror stories that could be fun to hear as well. Like any really bad dealings on eBay or with CEX or anything. Luckily, I haven't really had anything bad like that. I tried to get Pokemon Emeralds before it came out as a naive kid, thinking that, oh, it's cool, it's on eBay. And it's not even out in the UK for like another two months. And it just turned out to be some weird Chinese ROM hack of Pokemon Ruby. But it called itself Emerald and it was in a really weird shiny case that came flat pack. And I was so confused. It's like, huh? Is this really Pokemon Emerald? And then I turned it on and the characters in the game were like using swear words and stuff. I'm like, yeah, there's definitely something weird about this. It doesn't seem legit at all. So I really didn't understand what was going on there at the time. So that was pretty funny. Horror, ge horror stories of games you should have bought, yeah. The one that I always constantly kick myself about is seeing... Uh, what's it called? Panzer Dragoon Saga in Game Station in like 2006 or seven, and I just started college, and it was 40 quid, and it was complete, all four discs, pristine condition, in the window of Game Station, and because I was a poor student, I just thought, oh, I can't afford it, 40 quid's too much money. I regret that to this day, and now the game's like 800 pound or something. Oh my god, how did I not break this before? Yay, we're finally making progress. We found a new cave. How many hours are we going to be stuck in that one? And some more of those purple berries. Let's leave Volimar up there. Come on, tell me more of your horror stories. Or game collecting stories. That could be a fun collaboration video, actually. I could ask other people in the community what some of their favourite game collecting stories are. 
Would anyone be interested in seeing that? I can send some emails out and stuff. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. I remember as a kid, I got Railroad Tycoon for the PS1. And being a kid that you didn't get it, so you took it back to the shop and it would give you trade price and you spent all your pocket money on it. Oh no! Oh, that's sad. That's so sad. Alright, cool, I'll do that at some point. There was another collaboration video that I've been thinking of doing as well. Asking people what their formative gaming memories are. So, like, what are some of the first games that they ever played? And how did they get into gaming? So I think that would be something to hear from a variety of different people as well. But yeah, I'll, de I'll definitely do both of them, I think. I did one a long time ago about why we love retro gaming. But I feel like that was a bit too broad and everyone's answers were basically the same. So I'd like to do one again with more personal stories like that. I think that'd be good. Maybe I'll do one around Christmas time. That could be a good lead up to Christmas kind of thing. Uh, Bully and MC2 said, I found a copy of Bionic Commando for the Game Boy Color in the Metro, if that counts. You just found it? Yeah, that's cool. Was it in good condition? Why is it stuck on 95? Oh, is that because there's... Whoops, I just sent some back. Oh dear. I'll bring one more out and we can carry on. I'll put that question to the chat then. What was the first game that you ever played? I think mine was probably... Either Tetris or Mario 1 on the original NES. Because my parents got a NES when I was two years old, I think. And I'm pretty sure they got it with Tetris and Super Mario. So it would be one of them two. Do I just throw these ones up to Louie? Yeah, let's go to the next cave. Are you ready for another half an hour of very basic puzzles? Here we go. Uh, let's see, Spider-Man Atari. And Hang on GP on the Master System. That's a good game. I enjoy the hang-on games. Uh, so you've at last reached the higher ground. Congratulations are in order. Wait, what is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What force is at work in the depths of the planet? Should we find out? Uh, we need some fire as well. Do we have time to go back and get some? Yeah, we can just drop down here. Let's get some more purple goo as well, because we all need some purple goo. Um, I can't remember the first game I played, as I played loads of Spectrum games, but the first game I fell in love with was Zelda Link to the Past. That is a good game to fall in love with. There's certainly a, a lot to do in that game. Very impressive scale for a game at that time. Hmm. Do you think I need more fire or more... Should we get 50 of each? Yeah, Link to the Past is such an amazing game. Nintendo pretty much perfected the Zelda formula on their third attempt, which is pretty impressive. Great game, guide I played as a kid when we didn't have the internet. Yeah. It's more fun. Well, I was going to say it's more fun figuring things out on your own, but a lot of the time back then I would rely on guides that came in gaming magazines anyway. I know I did that with Ocarina of Time. 
I had a tiny little printout guide that came in one of the N64 magazines. Uh, what is the point of this bit? It's just a waste of time having to throw them up there all the time. Here we go, finally, let's get into the cave. Hours of walking around looking in every corner, and when you found something new it was amazing. Yeah, such a cool experience, discovering things in Zelda games for the first time. Right. Let's study the surroundings. I don't really know what the difference is between these ones. Uh, two of the first ones I played was Persona 1 and Tomb Raider 1. Nice. You don't hear a lot of people that played the first Persona game, so that's interesting. Oh my god. We're off to a bad start. Just throw as many as fast as possible. Have we really lost 13 already? Oh no. This is going badly. I was complaining that the last cave was too easy, and this is what they give me. We got something new, a nice shiny uh, crystal clover. I suppose it is. And apparently that is everything for this area. I really thought there was going to be a bit of treasure up here. I was a bit surprised. I wish there was a redo button. Got through it together with my dad because I really didn't understand it. I don't really know much about anything before Persona 3. Does it play anything like it? Is it even similar? Is it I guess it's just a dungeon crawler, right? Or is there school stuff and social links and things in, in that one? Or did that come later? Long Black's Kingdom sub level 2. And now we have fire everywhere. It's still in a school setting, but without the social stuff. In some ways, that sounds better because the social stuff stresses me out. Haven't we already been in this level? I'm sure we've already done this. I've seen this before. This exact layout. You got very lost. Yeah, I remember feeling very lost when I played it on the PS2 back in the day. 
and then a friend let me borrow five more recently and I got so stressed out of picking the wrong choices and they kept telling me I was playing it wrong and I needed to do this and that that I just gave up playing it completely because I hated the fact that I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing and then stressed that I'd done everything wrong. And then they were saying, oh, it's easy, just play it and follow a guide the whole time. It doesn't sound fun. It was just a very stressful experience. I didn't like it. That was a very short cave. Three is your least fave. Maybe I should try playing them again, now that they're out on the Switch, aren't they? Oh no! Who blew all their flowers off? That's not fair. I, I don't think these enemies can actually hurt you, so... That's not too bad. All they can do is get rid of your flowers. There's another one over there as well. Making money! Free money! Oh, we can swap into some white Pikmin. That means there's going to be some poison up ahead. Shall we sacrifice some yellow or red? How about a mix? Whatever it wants to throw at it. I need to get rid of that Kofi notification, that's really annoying. Sorry. I only set that up earlier today when I remembered that I had a page and it said link it to Twitch. I didn't realise it would constantly be posting in chat. Sorry, I'll change that for the next one. We've only got 86 Pikmin. How have we lost so many already? I think I lost a bunch on the first uh, first part of this. There is some treasure somewhere, apparently. We need to get the white ones to dig for it. Or is there more to the level that we haven't seen yet? Mm, the radar is picking up a little bit over here. It is here! We can just do that and wait for them to finish digging. What have we got? A weird shell. Alema Knight shell. Alema Knight. How does it come up with these really weird names for everything? Okay, that is sub-level 3 complete. This dungeon seems even simpler than the other one. I guess that makes sense because this level came before the other level that we did earlier. Sub-level 4, Bomb Black's Kingdom. Hopefully this is the right path to try and unlock the blue Pikmin after this. That's what I'm hoping to do in this stage. But first... Ah! Get away! Oh! I don't know why... Why did he decide to just go straight over to it? How annoying. Everyone! This is what the red Pikmin sacrificed himself for. So that the rest of you can enjoy 
the Necto. And we can also make some purple ones. So we sacrifice some of the reds because they're kind of the they're kind of less important if the area is surrounded by electricity anyway. Yellows. There's a purple one with me as well. I don't want to send the purple one over. Not just yet. Yep. Yeah. Red coat to the Pikmin world. They're just cannon fodder. There we go. Is there anything else up there? Oh, we got something. I didn't even realise they were carrying something. I thought that was just part of one of the enemies. We got the Crystal King. It looks like the thing in Echo the Dolphin that you sent the sonar to to get the map. Anything here? Nope, there is a tiny little tunnel. I swear we've been in this level before as well. Are they repeating already? I think they are. But I don't remember it being full of electric enemies last time. So maybe that's new. Is there another one? There's another one. Ah! And an evil guy. He's the guy who plants people, isn't he? Oh, wow. Well, that didn't last long. Is that one going to come out of his cave? Oh, okay, he must have fallen over when the purple one landed. Cool. Have we got something else? It looks like a 5 yen or something. Uh, whatever the Japanese currency is. Unknown merit. I think it's 5, the one with the hole in, right? Now we can sacrifice some yellows and get some purple. Are we done? Yeah, another very short stage. Delve deeper. We're delving even deeper. What level are we on now? Five? Maybe six? I just had another comment on my Game Boy video. Someone else recommending to me Gargoyle's Quest. So again, now that some more people have joined, has anyone played Gargoyle's Quest before? And do you recommend me playing it? I have tried, and I really can't get far on it at all. Oh no. I'm kind of scared. I really don't like these enemies. Where's he going? Maybe... If we start with... Let's power everyone up first. And start with some purple ones. <gasps> yes, that worked. Easy. Really can't see anything. Oh my god. It's so dark. It's just a shortcut back to the start. And these guys are all just stood there on their own now. Look at all the money coming in. Nothing there. 
Maybe I need to do some farming to get some more. <gasps> oh my god. Please don't hurt me. Whoa, that was close. Nearly blew everyone up. Oh my god, that was scary. That was genuinely fear. If I lost everyone then through no fault of my own, I would be so angry. <gasps> get back, get back, get back! Oh my god, I don't like that. Why are there bombs coming out of nowhere? That's horrible. Is that all there is? Oh my god, I hate that. The idea that bombs can just drop down out the ceiling from nowhere. We got a pine cone or something. Anxious Sprout. Now we're just going to find the way out. This way. I don't know. Don't want to leave anyone behind. Alright. Onwards into the cave. Level 6. I don't know how many levels they have overall, or if it just depends on what it decides when you first go into the cave, because I think it is just a bit random. Okay, there is red. I don't think we need any more red. And there is more purple as well. Let's get rid of some yellows for more purple. And... In the meantime... Use reds for the chance to get more reds. Makes sense. We're back here again. I swear we just did this level. Did they kill him? Did they kill someone? Right, let's try and take the big one out. He's not too bad. I don't know why I was worried about them once. Oh my god, the spider got it. Look at his weird hands. Why is the spider wearing gloves? Is it safe to bring everyone else down? I guess so. Come on then, everyone. Get some treasures. Oh yeah, we've got some new purple ones. Cool. Got quite a few purple ones now. Which is good. That means that even if anything heavy shows up later on, we can instantly bring everything back. I never know whether you're supposed to worry about the explosion that the uh, spiders leave at the end. Maybe not. Ooh. Eternal Emerald Eye. Worth 150 gold. Ah! No, get away, get away! Quick! Oh my god, that was close. Why do they put those bombs down? I could have easily just walked off then. I presume they're safe. Oh my god, that seriously sets my heart racing every time one comes out. I hate it. 112 out of 20. Yeah, we definitely got enough. Anywhere I haven't been? Apparently I haven't been over there. Oh, there is more to this path. Okay, let's carry on. 
Another one of those annoying spiders with the weird gloves. Have we got enough? Should we start with purple this time? No, oh, we've got a skull. Let's see what it says about the skull. Colossal fossil. Cool. Don't eat anyone! Good, good, good. And don't touch the fire. We're safe. For now. Have I got any reds left? Yep. And some more reds to go over here. <gasps> They're not red! I don't always trust this colour picker. For some reason, it just sometimes doesn't work. There's some very slow purple ones back there. Maybe they'll actually be better off just latching on. I'll make him go a bit faster. Is that everything? No, we haven't been up here yet. I was half expecting just a bomb to come down from the ceiling. Oh! It did. Everyone get away! Oh my god. Seriously? That's horrible! There's no escape from that! Ugh. Why would they do that? I really don't want to go into any corners now, just in case. That was horrible. Good job I didn't have everyone with me. Ugh. I feel so disheartened now. That was literally no fault of my own whatsoever. I even joked that there would be a bomb there and then those stupid things come out the floor that stop you from having control over everyone. <sighs> okay, moving on. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Level 7. Oh my god, we're still not at the end. There's more. There's always more. Oh, it is the final one. I thought it said it was the final one up there, but no. I can see the boss waiting for me. Everyone get back. Is it not going to do anything? Alright then. Do I wake him up now? Wait, isn't he the final boss from the first game? So, don't we need bombs? Oh, he's just a lot weaker. That was weird. Or oh, maybe having that spray stuff helped. I did waste the purple one though because it didn't do anything to him. My initial report indicates that the giant ball black spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it's drenched in that creature's internal juices. Disgusting. Oh, don't roll your eyes at me, I'll store it for you. 
Disgusting. Well, I think we did okay overall. We lost about half of all the Pikmin. But never mind. How are we going to get up here now then? Without any blue ones? Is this even possible? I don't even have access to blue ones yet. This material is perplexing properties. I will try fusing it with this spa spare spacesuit. Processing complete. Success! Behold my latest invention, the Scorch Guard. Thanks to the heat resistant alloy, this suit is now impervious to fire. Hooray. For me at least, not for the Pikmin. Of whom it actually matters. So what am I supposed to do now? Because I can't go over here because of all the water. Or is it shallow enough that it doesn't matter? No. No, it is not. Does the water drain somehow? Okay. Oh. I think I get it. Is it just that it drops it down the side? Just gonna have someone over here. And they can just walk down the side and pick it up. Hopefully they're clever enough to go down the side and not take it straight down the middle. Good. Then maybe that's just for show. I don't know what the point of that is. There we go. If they really want to put the fire out there, I'll let them. Oh no. That was your own fault then. There's no saving him. I was really worried that I needed blue ones to do that. Come on, go faster. Here you go. Oh, really? It won't even take any more? Okay, then. We'll just wait here. It's a gyroid. A weird looking one. From the Animal Crossing series. Unless they're something in Japanese culture or something. And not just from Animal Crossing. I don't know. We're done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Threw a yellow one right into the uh, into the air right then. Hopefully he came with me. Looks like it. I presume they all come with you. Anyway, yay, we did it. We got everything. We lost 40 Pikmin, but anyway, cave complete. That means we're more than halfway through. The game has been saved. Back to the Awakening Wood. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> 60%. We're getting closer. Now let's restock. I forgot what level was was in actually.
still no closer to getting the blue Pikmin. They're all up there. Or am I? Maybe I should go and have a look. I must be able to get them now, surely. Oh yeah, maybe actually we should restock. I'll leave a bunch of them there to restock. Oh, okay. We can do that tomorrow then. We need to get yellow ones to come and break those electric fences down. I thought I was a lot further into this game than I am. I didn't think there was anywhere left to use yellow ones. There is a place over there as well to get the purple fruit. We have to go all the way around. Alright, everyone come down. Got ten seconds to bring them over. Anything else in the last few seconds? There was a whole bunch of idle ones there. Good job I noticed them. One more. There we go. We got everyone. Then we can call it a night. And then the next day we can go and throw all the yellow ones at that fence. And finally get the blue Pikmin that we've been waiting so long for. There's still that weird glitch where Louis's head pokes out of the window. I wonder whether they'll ever patch that out. Yay! Numbers are up, and we got mail. Some wild animals are nesting under the bridge now. They think I'm their pal or something. My stylish suits are covered in hair. I'm pitiful, but at least they're warm. Poor guy. Really making me feel bad while I do all the hard work for him. Okay, let's go straight back in. There is one more dungeon, apparently. Oh yeah, we need yellow, not red. 118 now. We did it, we got over 100. I hate timing these, they never work. I don't know why I'm doing this, I don't really need to. You two can take them. Now let's go! Uh, okay, fine. Some of you can do that. I'm really procrastinating. I just need to get them up here. Oh god! Why is that horrible thing here? I didn't even need to do the character switching like I thought I did. Ah, why are they all coming back down? Stay up there. Yay, there's the blue ones, finally. We get to meet them. They're attacking tadpoles, as usual. Look there, wild blue Pikmin are chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens we can understand more about their true nature. I apologise, I was momentarily entranced by them. Now back to work. Oh, 
Oh no, one of them got left behind. Let's do a little bit of character switching. Oh my god. That's the most I've done all game. Let's go and see what everyone else is up to. They dropped a whole bunch of red berries. Oh, maybe I should leave them in the ground because they're going to flower, aren't they, eventually? Oh no, what? They left the berries too long. That's taken ages. Should we send them some more help? You only really need one over there. Eleven more might speed the process up a little bit. There we go, we've got two bottles of it now. Is there anything else to do in this level? That's where the uh, big horrible bird enemies were. Hey, they're slowly planting, flowering, budding, whatever you want to call it. We done? Yay, we did it. Now they better all stay there because they'll all drown. Oh no! Like that. Why did you follow me? Stay there. Let's go and save these blue ones. I don't know why I expected another one of the commanders over there. I need to stop that Kofi notification. How do I do that? Let's see if I can do that now. At last, you have encountered them. They seem to have gun like ducts on their cheeks. They must be blue Pikmin. Clearly, they must be blue Pikmin. Like the other types, they look like... Uh, while they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. <coughs> I am the valiant leader that they need. And my voice is going. I think I've been talking too much today. I had literally a two hour meeting earlier. It is not necessary. Leave them to slowly attack. How have they still got full health? They've been literally attacking them for hours. Days even. We're on day seven. Day nine. They've been attacking these tadpoles for nine days. And they're still perfectly fine. There's the last one. Let's watch him close up. If we can keep the camera on him. Hey, there we go. Now he's dead. You see his little spirit float off. Nice water effect. The GameCube games always had the best water effect. can get this toothpaste bottle or paint or whatever it is. Right, let's see if I can turn off these Kofi things or at least turn them down a little bit. 
It was a bit obnoxious having it go off every half an hour. Uh, Stream Alliance? There it is. Let's say every 90 minutes. Seems a bit more reasonable. Okay. Seems better. Should be fixed now. If it's saved. Yay, yeah, now we have some blue Pikmin. We can do a bit more exploring now. Oh, this has sealed itself back over again. What are these yellow ones? Yeah, they're flowers now. Excellent. Put some of these away so we have some room for some more blue ones. Do I get anything for destroying all that? Nothing at all. Hey, we got some paint. There's Mario again. Mario paints. Blue. Decorative goo. That's a good explanation for paint. Oh my god, we have... Oh, why is there one yellow one? Stay there. Why is it making a weird noise? Now, let's check the map, see whether there's anywhere else that having blue Pikmin can help with. Not in particular, but it did say there's another... Let's take these guys. It said there was another cave somewhere. I don't see any cave entrances. There's a gate over there I haven't broken. How do I get over there? Is that water? Yes! Okay, we do need blue ones, and we need to send them that way. Really, neither of those turned out to be yellow. Yellow ones are so incompetent at trying to get their own. Oh, nice. It's a shortcut. We can go and get some purple goo. Oh, not yet. Oh, we can send the rest of these over to help. What is he doing? Come on. Oh no! I didn't mean for everyone. How's everyone else doing though? What games have you guys been playing? Recently. I was playing a bit more Trackmania the other day, and I managed to finally get gold medals on all of the courses. So I was quite happy about that. Stock up on some purple because it is very useful. I might actually just get the yellow ones to do that and take the blue ones with me. Why did half of them decide to follow me? We can send Olimar to round those guys up. Where well, they really need some nectar. Uh, maybe there's nothing else I can really do with this this session. I might do this actually. Oh, 
started Starfield, I was kind of put off by all the bad reception that it's been getting. It doesn't really feel like it's worth my time to play something that's not that good. But what do you think of it so far? Maybe I should give it a try and make up my own opinion. Hopefully I've got enough time to round everyone back up. Why didn't they get the juice? Why do they continue to climb even though there's nothing left on there? Okay, he's all on his own now. Where's everyone else then? It says there's 50 something. Oh, yeah. Why are you just leaving the juice to go rotten on the floor? Pick it up. One of them just exploded. It's definitely useful to have this for when you're going into the caves. It helps a lot, especially with the boss fights. Maybe it's a good game if you just want to sort of get engrossed in the atmosphere and don't really care about having something exciting to do all the time. Okay, I guess we'll end it. Go to sunset, and then the next day we can jump back in and take the blue ones over. Uh, well, maybe I'll end the stream a bit earlier than usual tonight because I'm quite tired. But we'll do a few more days. Maybe I'll stop at like half ten, maybe. Is he still really depressed? Well, the animals that adopted me are actually rather cute once you get used to them. Once we get the debt paid off, I might build a refuge for them. What do you think? <laughs> He's making friends with his animals under the bridge. Poor guy. It annoys me that that menu is in 60 frames a second, and then you get into the game and it only runs at 30. Time for the blues. Should we try and get 100? It's so annoying as well. Usually, in any of the more modern Pikmin games, if you've only got one colour out, then that's the only colour that they'll actually be. But in this one, it still just keeps swapping between all of them. Hey, we got one at least.
Let's see how far we can get with just things. I don't want to spend ages just picking up pellets. That's not the most exciting thing, is it? Where do they go? Do they go to the onion? Do they become seeds? Do they? Yeah, they're worth three, actually. Not bad. Alright, we got 39. I wonder what happens if you completely wipe out of a certain colour. Oh my god, they're so slow. Come on. We are going this way today, I think. Yeah, this way. We have never been able to get over here before. We need white ones too. These frogs aren't as scary as they seem. In the first game, I absolutely hated them. Oh no. They're still horrible. Oh well, we made up for it with the rest of them. What are you doing? Are they making the bridge? I suppose so. I better send one of the captains back to get some white Pikmin, I guess. I'll follow these guys back. I should have left them there to begin with, really. Oh well. I presume I can just throw some white ones up over the bridge. How many have I got? I've got no idea. We've got 19. Sure. Let's use all of them. Building bridges is kind of boring. So, should just be able to plunk them there, right? Yeah. Maybe not. It's further away than I thought. We have to go the long way around. Although I don't even think we can actually use them yet. I'd be so annoyed if anything kills these now. Oh my god, I really did this the wrong way around, didn't I? Now I'm going to have to traipse all the way back over as Louie instead and then try and pick up all these new blue ones. Oh well. It's good to get more blue ones, especially as I just killed some. Because of that annoying frog. Let's see how many that gives us. Should be more than three, right? Whoa, seven was that? Let's go. Uh, by the time they get here, it's going to be done anyway. There we go, some last minute help. Can I throw them all over before it's done? Pretty much at the exact same time. Oh, I should have just... Should have just kept Olimar with these separately. Okay, while they're... Oh no, that was a white one. 
Oh my god, that was horrible. I think one of the white ones died too. What does that do? What's going on? What's going on? Oh no, where did that poison stuff come from? Emergency, your Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle, you may be able to help them. I hope so. I thought it was the actual bridge that was uh, poisonous. Oh no, we've lost some more. I don't think there's any saving them. I don't understand what the point of doing that was. Does it help me stand up there? No! Ah, oh, shoot. Why did they all try and follow me? Oh, no. Well, I guess there goes all my white Pikmin. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, that worked at least. I really can't believe that happens. That is not fair. They all just finished and then just followed me into the water. There are some things about this game that are really awkward. There we go. We got it. I'm so upset. I lost all of them. Leave all that there for a minute. Remember I said about these birds before. That's because this area is kind of the same as it is in the first game. I didn't realise that Pikmin 2 actually reused areas from the first one. Come on! One more round. If it's anything like the first one, there was actually three of them here. I don't know if that's still the case. Uh, thank God for that. And that is where the next cave is. The final cave of this area. Hopefully there's a way to get some more white ones from inside. I can't believe I lost all of them because they all went in the water. How stupid can you get? <sighs> Actually, do I still have 15? There we go. We can bring some more important stuff back with us. Uh, I'm so upset. I really shouldn't have brought them all with me.
I have zero. I can't believe it. Oh, I have one. Okay. I'm going to get some yellow ones out because I'm going to put that one back. There we go. <laughs> I know, that's a little bit overkill. Oh, it's so unfair. Hopefully there's somewhere I can replenish the stock of them. Hey, Ginger Wolf here again. Hello. Oh no. How come this didn't come out when the other Pikmin were walking past? Is that even doing damage? A little bit. Uh, don't abandon me and don't give up on me. Air break. Oh, 70%. Awesome. Still making progress despite the horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach after losing all but one of my white Pikmin. I can't believe the game was that mean to me. This boss is annoying. This is more annoying than the big bird thing. Yay, it's dead. Did we get anything good for it? Seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! I need one more. Olimar, go and get me one more Pikmin. There's a whole bunch of them down here. Well, I suppose I could ask for a few more. They've got time. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if we can get this over in nine seconds. Everyone, grab on! Should we leave that? Let's get that the next day. Make sure everyone's together. Come on, three seconds, you can do it. Two. One. Yay, just in time. That was close. Twitch isn't working properly for you. Oh no. Is it your internet that's having trouble? Or is it just Twitch? Uh, someone says, when I look at Japan exclusive Game Boy games, I should look at a game called Cave Noir. It is on my list. I've heard it's a really good uh, roguelike dungeon crawler kind of game for the Game Boy. Sounds really interesting. Today's report. Have a look at the... Uh, hey, we got something at least. Have a look at this. 19. Down to 1. Ah. Uh -huh. I still can't believe that happened. I don't want to think about it. Okay, day 10. When you're down, you find out who your true friends are. And I think I finally have. Maybe I'll just fire you two ingrates and hire these nice animals. We're making money for him. Why has he been so mean to us? Seriously. What a horrible boss. Alright, so let's jump back in. Again. Try and remember what we were doing. We were going to break a wall down and then head off to whatever the cave has in store for us. Hopefully some way of replenishing white Pikmin. Let's have a look at our numbers. We definitely need more blue ones. I'm sure this new cave will have something related to blue Pikmin. So, before anything... Maybe we should. Oh. 
The pellets haven't grown back yet. Well, this one gets some at least. I'm just going to get out a little, a mix of colours basically. Because I don't know what is needed in the cave. I suppose 33 of each if you want to be sensible, isn't it? Oh well. That will do. I'm not doing any sort of scientific Pikmin numbers. Oh no. They're eating the bridge. That's not fair. Stop! How dare you? We need to go across there. Hopefully it won't take too long. I can't believe that. They destroyed the bridge. I wish there was a shortcut that you could unlock just to get up there, because where we need to go, I can show you if we swap to the other camera angle. Over there. Right in the background. Let's do a dance while we wait. Alright, carry back some random stuff first. Sure. Oh, now they've decided to show up. Oh my god, there's, there's giant ones! Whoa! There's one for 20? Wow. Alright. And there's a giant one up there for ten as well. Where did all these come from? Oh, there's some smaller ones, I guess. Just whatever. Take whatever you want. Is this to try and make me feel better for carrying that white one. Or all the white ones. Nice, we've got some more juice. And it seems like there's some treasure around here as well. Telling me I need to go and get the only white Pikmin I've got to dig there. You're needed, solitary white Pikmin. No, I didn't think it would reach from there. Long way round. Alright, get digging, I guess. On your own. He might be there a while. But it's the only choice I've got. Should we spend this day stocking up then? Because there is purple juice over there as well. And yeah, it's still there. Sometimes it's not quite ready yet. Can I see what the white one's up to? Yeah, right in the distance over there, look. Like. 
Hopefully that's enough to make some more. Because it'll be useful to use that in the cave. Is he doing okay on his own? Very slowly. I don't even think I can send anyone else to help while he's digging. Which is really annoying. Let's see. Oh, maybe he can now that it's uncovered. Maybe it's not too bad then. <laughs> They're carrying that a bit weird. Hooray! I've got a onion. A pilgrim bulb. I suppose they can't call it an onion because these are the onions. Uh, what do we have? How do you find out how many of each colour you got? 32, 25, 34. So I should get some more yellow ones. Shall I put that single white one back? Alright, we are finally ready. Let's go tackle the final cave of this area. <gasps> no, they ate that bridge as well. It's literally been one day. I only just finished making it. They literally ate the entire thing. And now we wait again. I wish it had some sort of fast forward option. I suppose what I can do, instead of using the bridge, I can just send these Pokemon around the other side and get Louie to catch them. Let's do that instead. We can throw them all up here. At least maybe we can break that wall down in the meantime. And I presume that Louie can just go with them. Yay, it worked. I remember I couldn't get to him before, but that's because I couldn't get up the other side for some reason. Not even sure why, really. Now, Louie can go all the way back around again, the slow way. It's nearly back. And these blue ones can carry all them pellets back home. I can hear them working. Yay, they finished. Let's ignore them for now. We can always replenish them some other time. I just want to get this cave out of the way. Alright, have we got everyone? Yes, finally. Let's go. And we do need... Oh no, did we need white ones? Hopefully that means that there's a flower inside to make some white ones. If you need them. Because the only way you can get them is from underground. Right. 
right, here we are. Cave sub-level number one. Ooh, we've got some new music. Do, 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 do. I like these enemies. You can just rush into them. Does that go somewhere? Ooh, it does. Cool. Ooh, nice. We found a feather. I hope that Bob Orb didn't wake up. No, he's still fast asleep. Good. I might just take red ones over to him. To be safe. Ready. Oh no, it's going to interrupt us to tell us what a feather is. Okay. What is a feather? Leviathan feather. No, it had a big chunk of him. Oh my god. There is no rewind function in this one. Not like Pikmin 4, which is extremely uh, kind to you. This one is very unforgiving. I should have done that better, honestly. That was my fault. What's it going to tell me about a marble? Dun, 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 dun. Interesting effect around it. Crystallized telekinesis. for the slow walk back up to the end of the stage. As long as we've still got everyone, we can just go straight in. Yes, level two. That wasn't too bad. Although I did lose about ten straight away, which isn't great. Snagrit hole. Oh, nice. I always like it when the caves are lit up like this. It makes it more interesting to look at. Very bright in here, actually. And I have to remember, it's not the end of the world if the Pikmin go outside the bounds. Come on, he wasn't even over there. Oh no. Everyone attack! Oh, that was close. He almost bit down. How many Pikmin does it take to lift a strawberry? Twelve. I thought I threw twelve. Oh, one of them didn't quite make it. Oh, it did. It lied to me twice. One of them is going to get stabbed, but I don't care. Is there anything up here? I feel like I can go up there. I can go up there. Don't tell me I needed a white one to dig. That would be so unfair. There's more over here anyway.
Does it know what a strawberry is? Probably not. Uh, achy neck, achy shoulders. Combustion berry. Always try and stay behind the enemies. And you have less chance of getting eaten. Oh, he's fallen over. Excellent. I think someone died. I didn't even see what else I'd picked up then. Taste sensation. Should we try and go up here and... Well, the radar's stopped. I don't think there is anything up there. Was there anything over there? There's an egg, I guess. Should we go and crack the egg? I always called it nectar, but if it comes out of an egg, isn't it just... the egg? Oh, even better. There's a chance to get some more white Pikmin. Oh, what did I get? I got a follow from L Del Bar Hacks X. I probably pronounced that horribly wrong. I apologise for completely butchering your username, but thank you for the follow. Hey, thank you. That's two people tonight that have came over from YouTube. This week's one's going to be a really interesting video. Uh, I was... I was showing it off earlier, so I may as well let you know, as you're here, we're going to be checking out these two games here, which were actually two of the last games that Gunpei Yokoi ever made. They kind of go back to the Game & Watch style of being LCD handhelds, which is so interesting. So I can't wait to share that with everyone. Is this safe? I don't want to lose any white Pikmin. About an hour ago, before we unlocked this cave, I lost about 30 white Pikmin in one go. Because they all fell in the water. After making a bridge, because they followed me into it. Because they were stupid. I, uh, I couldn't believe it. So now I literally only have six. In the entire game. Uh, really? Do we need to let them go over and transport this back? Just for a little bit of extra money because I'm trying to 100% complete this. Okay. Go on then. I'll wait here. I guess one of you can wait there. I'll come with the other one. Well done, you got us one Pikmin pound. Let's go deeper. The game has been saved. Level three. Snaggerette? What enemy's that? I don't understand how these caves work. One minute it's like 
brighter than daylight and then the next minute it's complete darkness. There's no in between. What's going on here? There's a chance to get more white Pikmin through this one. So that's always good. I guess it doesn't matter what colours I throw in because I've pretty much got a mix of all three anyway. Oh no. Yellow ones are probably the best ones to fight these birds. Oh no. That's not fair. I thought I was far enough away. How many did I lose then? Two? Come on, die! Come on, at this point I can just chop them. Yay! Nice scream at the end. What did I get? I got a sausage. Got a sausage. Hey, Zombie Workshop raided, thank you! Hello everyone! If you can see me over all the emojis. Hey! What have you been up to? Have you been drawing? Zombie raid! I have a Resident Evil gun somewhere. I should have had it ready to fight off the zombies. But yeah, how's everyone doing? We're very slowly making our way through Pikmin 2. Going from cave to cave. You've been playing some demos? Awesome. What was some fun stuff from the demos? Oh, you might be interested, uh, Zombie Workshop. I'll be I'll be streaming some more homebrew games soon because I'm in the judging panel for the Game Boy competition. So in a few in a few weeks, once we've narrowed down our top ten, I'll be going through and doing some proper analysis and giving feedback on all the games from the competition, which will be really fun to check out. Lots of very talented developers making Game Boy games at the minute. Uh, where am I from? I'm from Telford, which is a town just outside of Birmingham, basically, in the UK. So, if you were confused about the West Ac the uh, West Midlands accent, that's where it's from. People always seem confused about my accent for some reason. Where's the bird gone? There it is. Oh nice, I thought it was just the yellow ones that you could throw on its head, but I guess the red ones work too. How is it still alive? What? He should be dead. Now he's dead. What a horrifying scream. Every time you kill one, like... That's terrifying. Uh, let's see. Last Exterminator. Duke 3D style shooter was good fun. Super Power Racing was a simple retro racer. And Frogonet, a cute explorer map with chunky pixel graphics. They all sound really fun. I might have a look back over these comments later and have a look myself. Now that I've got an ROG ally as well, it's a lot easier for me to experiment with different Steam games and see what's fun out there. Actually, another good way I've found of finding out about some cool retro and indie titles recently. I bought this magazine at Insomnia a few months ago. Well, I uh, I bought a different issue of this magazine and I actually subscribed to them. And this one came through the post the other day. And there's all different themes each episode. So this one's like Halloween style indie games. 
which all look really fun. There's a nice game, uh, Minako's Night Market, the one that's on the cover. I think it's coming out soon, so I might check that one out. When it's out, it looks really nice. But yeah, love love this magazine. Have I got another one here? No. I have a different magazine though. This one's from a homebrew developer who advertises all the different Game Boy games and Atari Lynx games actually as well, which is cool. And there's some interviews with uh, game developers in there. Dr. Ludos is in there. You might recognize some of his titles. Sheep It Up, DMG Deals Damage. So that was a, a cool little fanzine. I'm really enjoying getting fanzines again. And obviously I love the Switch Player one when that was a thing as well. And it looks like Paul Murphy's actually working on a new magazine. A new Nintendo themed magazine slash book. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's up on Indiegogo. I think. Oh my god, get out of the way! Oh no, this is going to be horrible. I do have one purple uh, potion that I could use, potentially. Let's see how far I can get without using that though, first. Ah, get away, get away! Oh no, I don't want to kill the white ones. I'm just going to leave a bunch of Pikmin right back here because I'm too scared. Uh, this game can be so unforgiving. Let's just take a bunch of red ones to fight. And a bunch of yellow ones. Oh my god, I'm scared of them ones up there. If I make one wrong move, they're just going to trample all the rest of them. Let's start with using yellow ones to get rid of these fences. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way! Oh my god, oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh, one of them died. No! And is that a fire breathing one? Oh no, it is a water one, so I need blue as well. This is insane! Ah! Oh man, this is horrible. Uh, uh, debug, yeah, I've got a few of their issues as well, actually. Have I got any back there? Well, no, I haven't got Debug back there, but I've got another two fan magazines. Sega Powered, which is a modern day Sega fan magazine. And they talk about Dreamcast homebrew and just retro reviews and stuff. They go back over some of the best games from the library. And the other one, I've got a load of different fan magazines here. The other one is GB Studio Magazine. This one's all focused on Game Boy homebrew stuff as well. And this was their first issue. This one's really interesting. It's got a, a bit all about making music on the Game Boy, which is really cool. Uh, she's been getting it as they've had a lot of coverage of the games that she's worked with. That's cool. I, th I don't know where Debug Magazine is. I picked it up at OLL last year, I think. I think they had a stand there. Um, emergency, Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to call them back. They are suffering! I'm suffering on this level too. Oh no, it died. I need to send some more yellow ones over here. I'll come back up here in a minute with some blue ones, I guess. As long as they don't go that way and get trampled on. This game went from nice and relaxing to incredibly stressful, almost instantaneously. Ha! Ah, he got stuck, so he can't fire his bubbles. Oh my god, the other thing you need to worry about on this level is the Pikmin getting thrown off the edge of the stage, too. No, he done. Is that by Andrew Lemon? It might be. I got a chance to meet him at the London Gaming Market uh, when I was speaking to Quang up there. He introduced me to him, which was cool. Uh, it is by someone called Beatscribe, if you know who Beatscribe is. Maybe that's his username? 
Uh, there's quite a lot about it, though. It goes into all the different trackers for the Game Boy and how to use them. And a bit about creating different sound channels. Loads of interesting stuff. A uh, huge tracker that was on about. I need to get the other issues of that if there are any. Oh, you've heard of them. That's good. Have you been working on the artwork for any games recently? Any more covers? Or box art? Or anything you're allowed to share anyway, obviously. Uh, how do I do this? I'm running out of Pikmin to take with me. Let's try that. Oh my god, we actually did it! Oh no, we lost some over the edge! This level is genuinely terrifying! Oh my god. Good job I had some blue ones with me. They're not all blue though! Uh... Save that red one. Yes, we did it, without too many casualties either. Alright, pick up whatever you can. Uh, nothing you can talk about, but there's something that may become something. Cannot discuss it yet. Cool. As long as you've got some fun projects to work on. That's the main thing. We got a magnet. Heavy duty magnetizer. We're down to 67. How did that happen? I thought I was doing quite well. And we're not even on the final floor yet either. Right, is that everything? The radar's still going for something somewhere. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, is it something I'm already carrying over? Is it something I need to dig for? I do have some white Pikmin with me. Oh, there it is. Just a random cherry sitting on this rusty floor for some reason. I don't even understand what I'm on here. It's just like some weird rusty structure in the middle of a giant cavern. Pid's Grenade. They come up with the weirdest names for things. Okay, let's go deeper. And we're already about halfway through our uh, Pikmin. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse than that level. Dun, 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 dun. And when we finish this cave, this is this world 100% complete then. It's another one where they can just fly off the edge. You have to be a bit careful. Is there going to be a boss? The radar is going a bit crazy. I'm scared of throwing the Pikmin in case I accidentally throw them over the side. There's definitely something here. Everyone stay there. No? Is it just something to dig for? 
No? There's just nothing at all. Okay, fair enough. The radar's going crazy though, it's like it can't pick anything up. There's something weird going on up there. What is going on? I haven't encountered that before. What is this? It's teleporting all over the place. And there's random enemies dropping down from the sky. It's back. Die, whatever you are. Oh, it had a whistle inside it, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. More enemies coming down out of the sky randomly. Is that it? We haven't been on this side. Let's take a few of them with me, although I don't think there's anything over here. You'll probably just loop round. Yeah. No reason to carry on that way. Look at all the money we're getting! Yay! There we have the Emperor Whistle. Will that improve my own one? Maybe it'll give me that thing in Pikmin 4 where I can pick him out of the ground just by blowing on it. A crystallized clairvoyance. I can't remember what it called the last marble. That was an easy level compared to the last one. Are you ready to go deeper? I don't think we lost anyone that time. No, not just yet. Let's take this back. Are there any other creatures to pick up? No. no. As I always do, I'll leave one of them there at the exit. Wow, they're faster than me. Not quite. I wish it told you how many floors there were, or how many there are left. Sub level six. Is it going to say final level? Please say final level. Nope. Okay, there's more. Good job we have some white ones. Oh! It's really difficult to separate the colours out. Is that... Oh! Weird! It changes colour. How does that work? Does that mean... You throw white ones in and it changes? Or... What is going to happen? Oh! Oh, it's like a duplicator thing. Cool! Excellent, that helps a little bit. Hopefully we can find some more of them. Still, we only need white ones for now. Hopefully we can find somewhere to make more white ones. Someone else got a whistle. Send in the radar wild again. Uh, it's in the water. Good job I brought some blue ones with me then. Finally, the blue ones get something to do. Okay. Oh, I see what's going to happen. It's going to keep ending up in different locations that you need different colours for. Can I throw him over the wall? 
Nein. Ah. Oh my god, no. I'm leaving the white ones up here. I don't want to lose them. The rest of the colors can come with me. Pikmin 2 is really scary because you don't have any sort of rewind functionality. Oh my god. No. Come on, that's the perfect angle. Why did it have to go in the water straight away? Yes, we got him. That spider's really annoying. Yes, we got it on his back. Keep going. Yay, there we go, finally. We're we gonna get another whistle. No. I'm not going to get anything from that one. It just whistles. It just is. The triple sugar threat. I'd eat it. Random enemy from nowhere. He has a whistle. It wasn't even the giant spider that had it. I am scared of bombs when it comes to stepping into the corner of these mazes. It has a horrible... Oh, okay. Just pick up the little clover thing. I didn't even realise that was something for them to collect. Oh, it's not a whistle. It is... I don't even know what it is. A lens. A stupendous lens. Is there dry land on the other side? Yes. What was I going to say about this one little leaf? Science project. How is it a science project? Not sure what the point of that was. It looks like it just loops around back to there anyway. That's how the white ones died before, because they came back to life, except I was standing in the water, trying to solve a different puzzle. What is left to do? The radar's still going. There's still something to find. 
somewhere. We haven't been up here, apparently. Oh, there's something. I think I've got enough. Surely that's not more than 20 for a yogurt pot lid. It is 20, perfect. I have 21. Excellent. I think I have a good mix of colours now. And that should be everything then for that level. Let's check the map. Yeah, that's everything. Once they bring that back, then we can head on to the next level. Which... Oh god, what's going on? <gasps> oh no. Oh no! Get out of the water, get out of the water! I didn't know they'd be fighting. Oh my god, it's eating loads of them. No. It's in the most awkward position as well. Okay, that's good. Get all of them right underneath its chin, then there's nothing it can do. Again, mostly good, I think. Oh no, I've only got 15 though. I'm going to have to transfer some of the colours and change them into blue ones, I think. Really? That didn't kill it? One more hit. Yay! That was a nasty surprise. Let's actually exchange some yellow ones, I think. If we can get them over there safely. Without... Uh, okay, go on. Exchange some yellow ones if they survive long enough to go inside the flower in the first place. This is a bit awkward. Good, they finally lined up in the right colour. There's a yellow one still there. Go away. It's uh, literally just going to be enough to get this across the grass. Uh, not the grass, across the water. 18, 19, 20! Wow. Literally just enough. There is the option to make more blue ones, but I don't know whether I need to. I did see that there was a blue flower over there somewhere. Ah, now they all want to help. <clears throat> Fruit yogurt, blueberry. Take these ones back over. Pick up that bird's head, it must be worth something. I'll throw some more at it just to make it a bit faster. And then we can head on to the next level. I thought we were going to start singing. Looks a bit creepy, doesn't it? That giant bird's head floating in from the distance. 
Uh, where are we actually going? Not that way. I don't think I need any more blue ones. Let's go. This must be the final level. I need it to end at some point. I have to get ready for bed at this rate. Final level. Finally. I'm scared. What is that? Oh my god, what is that? Let's give everyone some bonus power first. Oh my god, okay, what is the strategy? Is it turn everyone into flowers before anything? I'm gonna go and have a look at it. See if we can figure anything out. Oh my god, no! Get away! Okay, good. It's just hopping around. And then it burrows back underground. Okay. I really thought it was going to come over and eat these guys breaking the wall down for a second. Okay. First things first. I'm going to come over here. And... Leave all the white ones behind if I can. Okay, that'll do. Uh, and now give them all superpowers. I think that kind of worked. Just try and aim for the side of his head, I suppose. Doesn't seem that much more difficult than the regular bird ones. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I've got plenty more potions if I need a bit more power. Maybe I don't even need it. Oh my god, it's got out the floor. It's not really doing anything though. I thought it would have like different phases or something. It just seems the same as, as the regular one, except that it can stand up. Okay. I don't really care at that point. You can eat a little. A little Pikmin dinner. Hey, we got another robot. What's this one gonna do for me? <coughs> Is it? What? I've already got water resistance anyway. That bird beast won't trouble you no more. Processing. How curious. What's that impressive mechanized masterpiece? Let's find out. Ah, oh, there was one of them. I could have done with that earlier. Oh, I didn't realise that. You only have to throw one in and it replenishes a whole bunch. That's not fair. I wasted like five last time to get the same amount. And there was another egg back there. I don't even need it at this point. Yay. What is this one going to do? Justice Alloy. Does not compute. A metal this dense defies the fundamental laws of physics. And yet, if I use this to rework our president's treasured spacesuit, 
Fabrication of the Metal Suit Z is now concluded. The suit is extremely durable. Getting gnawed or stepped on will now produce minimal pain. Excellent. And whoever's left gets a chance to eat some nectar. Looks like there's still more gates to break down. That's the way out. But let's find out what's over here first, behind this one. And there's another one over there. Okay. Just more eggs. Does it really think you'd need that many eggs to get through this fight? You don't really need that much. I think they thought the fight was a bit harder than it actually was. Oh, okay. That's good. I did use one of them. So to replace it is worthwhile. Now, is everyone with me? Go! Anyone who's still got leaves. That's it! We're done! Now we can finally leave the cave. With, once again, 100% completion. And that did nothing. There we go. Now they'll break through it in no time. And we can watch from this side. Da -da 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 -dun. Let's get out of here. Wow. A lot of stuff. We lost 44 Pikmin. But it's not like you can just go back and use the pellets to make new ones anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The game has been saved. Is that it? Have we done everything here now? I think we might have. Let's check the radar. Let's see whether it says there's any treasure still left. 80% of debt recovered. If only that was real life. We've done all four. And the radar is empty as well, so... I guess we're done. And there isn't even anything to replenish anything. So I guess we can just end the session right there. Go to sunset. Oh, we get a bit more fanfare with the music here too. Look at all the money we're making for a guy who doesn't even like us. Are we going to get a new email from him? Hey, everything's up overall. Here we go. Olimar, you'll soon be promoted to manager, but only a small bit of debt remains. You've done great, as have I. No one dodges debt collectors like I do. I'm a pro. Is that something to boast about? Are we done with that area? Yay! Everything's complete. There's two more caves in that area, and there's two more in that area as well. But I guess for tonight, that will about do it. We've been playing for three and a half hours at this point, and we made some good progress finally after a bit of a rocky start. So I'll carry this on next Tuesday if people are still enjoying this. I definitely am, despite it not being quite as good as the first one, if I'm completely honest, but it's just my opinion. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned on Friday on my main Retro Break channel where we'll be taking a look at these LCD games, which have a very interesting backstory. And that is it for now. I'm now going to go and collapse. 
and then get back to work tomorrow. So thank you everyone so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.